My name is Leslie. I work as a clinical nutrition manager at a hospital. My job consists of being a nutrition manager for the dietitians and also a patient service manager over our hostess staff in a hospital that is of average size or small to average. Typically, the nutrition manager is over the dietitians and over the line staff who does diet restrictions and takes diet orders and delivers patient trays to the patients. Um, and that's the type of hospital that I work at. My typical day starts out always with checking emails regarding patient concerns, patient issues or complaints, procedural issues that other managers are having. Our main form of communication is through email, through the managers throughout the hospital and different ancillary departments. So the beginning of my day and throughout the day is always addressing patient concerns or manager requests. Um, additionally, I handle the quality assurance side of nutrition checks on the patients when the dietitians do their charting. I'm over that area to assure that their chart notes are accurate and follow the proper assessment and procedures. I also do quality assurance checks on our patient trays to assure that the special diet restrictions are being followed and monitored. I'm also responsible for the policies and procedures of our department to assure that the policies are revised and updated and revisions are in place timely for all the areas of our department, including nutrition management of the dietitians, patient services, our retail area in the cafeteria, and our production area. Um, a big part of my job is following joint commission Guidelines, Joint Commission is an accrediting organization of hospitals and it is crucial for all hospitals to be accredited by this organization. Therefore, all of the managers have a very large responsibility to assure that our Joint Commission standards are being met. And although they come only every couple years, we monitor those objectives and guidelines on a daily basis and that is a very large part of my job. Also, we do, um, I'm responsible for administrative reports to our administration staff to discuss special projects, our clinical dietitian productivity, um, any labor controls based on census, I'm responsible to control labor. Uh, additionally, the administrative reports will show any community involvement and community activities. And another large part of my job throughout the day would be handling HR issues. I manage a staff of over about 40 to 50 employees. And whenever you have that many employees in a closed quarantine area in our dietary department, um, you're bound to have human resource issues come up regarding um, uh, oral counselings or um, not following proper procedures, and so addressing those human resource issues throughout the, the day is a very extensive part of my job. Patient satisfaction is another area of my responsibility. We do patient rounds on the patients on a daily basis. The dietitians, my staff, and myself all do patient rounding to assure that the patients are satisfied not only with their meals, their service, but also their nutrition counseling, and that's about what I do on a daily basis. As far as educational requirements to be a clinical nutrition manager, uh, you have to have a Bachelor of Science degree, usually in nutrition and dietetics, and then a one-year internship to be a dietitian. And then to be a clinical nutrition manager, you need three to five years of experience as a dietitian to be a manager. Most clinical nutrition managers now have a master's degree, although it's not required. The majority of people do have a master's in nutrition or a medically related field. After you complete your bachelor's of science and then your one year internship, you're required to take a registration exam before you are able to work as a dietitian in a hospital. And once you pass that registration exam, in order to keep up your registration, you have to have 75 hours of continuing education over a five-year period, 
and 30 hours of continuing education over two years to remain licensed. Not all states require you to be licensed as a dietitian, but the majority of them do. Some courses that would be important for you to be well versed in would be chemistry and math. By the time you finish your bachelor's degree in nutrition and dietetics, you will likely have a minor in chemistry. So being comfortable with chemistry classes would be very helpful. Also, um, taking a lot of math classes is required to be a nutrition manager. When you graduate nutrition and dietetics, you will be doing a lot of tube feeding and total parenteral nutrition, which is IV nutrition or being fed by a tube. And having strong math skills is essential for being able to calculate tube feedings and TPNs. The best part about my job, although I don't have direct patient contact as much as I did when I was a dietitian, you still ultimately get a feeling of satisfaction that you're helping the patient. All of the responsibilities that I have in helping the hospital be successful ultimately helps the patient. So knowing that I'm working on wellness and prevention for the patient, for their nutritional well-being, and knowing that I'm ultimately helping the patient with their diet guidelines and their diet restrictions and their satisfaction with our meal service gives me a great deal of satisfaction. And so that's what I like most about my job, that the end result is helping the patient, making the patient healthier in regards to nutrition, and satisfied with their meals. What I like least about my job, or the worst part of my job, from my opinion, would be the approval process in getting processes or procedures changed. You'll find that you know a particular process would work better if it's changed or if, it's, if you add a certain aspect to it. But when working in a hospital, the approval process is extensive. It has to be passed through a, a ver variety of committees. You have to go through a decent amount of paperwork or red tape just to get one process approved or one procedure approved. So that becomes extremely time consuming and it can be very frustrating when you know um, that something can work out better, but um, you have to go through the approval process and it has to get passed through a, a large amount of committee approval before you're able to change that process or change that procedure. So that's probably the most frustrating part of my job. Some final advice I would have if you're interested in being a clinical nutrition manager. Um, you definitely would want to be comfortable and enjoy managing multiple projects at the same time. There is never an opportunity that you have one project going on and then after you're completed you have another one. You always have several things that you're juggling at once. So although I would be bored if I only had one project at a time, some people do, do better with completing one project and then moving on to the next. But with clinical nutrition management, and especially in a hospital environment, you will be doing a vast majority of projects simultaneously. So a skill that you would want to have is um, managing multiple projects. Also, shadowing a dietitian and shadowing a dietitian in clinical nutrition management is a good idea before you venture out to do it. A lot of people have the misconception that majoring in nutrition and becoming a dietitian, you will be working on weight loss or working at a gym and, and doing weight control management classes. And that is not the case for the vast majority of nutrition managers or dietitians because working in a hospital environment, you're working with disease state and it's not about weight loss, it's usually about um, trying to put weight on a patient and keeping them healthier. So shadowing a dietitian at a facility um, where, where you live or several nutrition managers to get a good idea of what being a dietitian is instead of maybe what, what you may think it is based on uh, weight control programs. That would be my best advice before you go into the field.